All right, we're here with Mike Tady, Cal's men's crew's head coach and also the coach of the men's eight uh, here at the Olympics. Um, Mike, tell us a little bit about what your experience has been so far in London. I know this is one of many Olympics you've been to. What makes this one different? Well, I think that, that it's different in that, you know, I came in in November. You know, I didn't come in really from the, from the whole quadrennial. So a lot of these guys, I didn't, I didn't really know. So as far as the makeup of the crew, but it's been, it's, it's been a really enjoyable experience. They're great kids. There's seven engineers in the boat, so, you know, everything's pretty methodical. And, uh, but then it's good, and they're, they're, they're good at solving problems. As far as being here, uh, we actually raced uh, when I was a head coach. World Championships were here in 2006. I'm pretty familiar with the, with the course in the area. So, uh, but it's been it's, it's been a similar as far as just the Olympics itself. It's been pretty similar to to once in the past. Great. Now, yesterday was a pretty exciting race. Um, people weren't really sure what to expect from the U.S. Men's Eight. Tell me about how you uh, prepped the crew. What was your pep talk going in? Well, it wasn't really much of a pep talk. I, I you know, what I, what I told them is, listen, I've had the past three Olympic eights, and, and um, past four, I should say. And, um, you know, I looked at the times, you know, when we medaled in Beijing and won in, in Athens, and, and uh, these, I told them, they, you know, you're, you're growing the same times that they did. Unfortunately, or, or fortunately, we don't have, there's no superstars in this boat. There's no really named guys. There's no medalists. There's no multiple medalists in this boat. But uh, it's sort of like the no-name people. But, you know, I, I, I told them, look, I'm confident that you're the best crew in this race. And, and I've been around a long time. So um, I think we have a normal, decent race. I think we, we can win. And I think if we win the heat, it puts them in a really strong position for the final. And, uh, they were able to execute, so I was really proud of them. Great. Any surprises on the course yesterday? You know, uh, all the crews, uh, I mean, uh, in our event, the Germans are clearly the favorite. I mean, they're, they're, they're very, very, very good. And everyone else is good as well, except that they've all beaten each other. So there really was, because they've all kind of had their day, and some have had good and some have had bad days, I think nothing really was surprising. the Australians and the, and the Poles to be strong and they you know, were fortunate to get ahead of them. So I, I wasn't really, you know, I pretty much just kind of focused on our event and you, know, you prepare the best way you can and, and you hope that they execute like they do in practice. And, uh, and I think they did that. So you know, if we can do that one more time, I think we'll be in good position. Great. So uh, tell us about Zach and how he has contributed to the speed of this boat. Well, he's, you know, look, Zach, um, guys What's it like to have so many Cal people here at the Olympics? You know, you you walk through the dining hall and you hear "Go Bears," you know, and uh, you know you walk down the street and you hear "Go Bears," and uh, you know it makes you kind of—it's warm. It's a warm feeling, and it, and it makes you feel really proud to be part of such a great, great tradition. 